So what's the best Bank of America credit card in terms of no annual fees as of March 2020? Well, this video is gonna help you figure out which one is best for you. Let's get started with this video, but first we gotta disqualify a few cards. The Bank of America Premium Rewards card disqualified. Mm. Why? It has an annual fee, all right? We're talking about no annual fee cards. So that leaves it down to the Cash Rewards card, the Travel Rewards card, and the Bank of America card. Now, out of these three, we gotta disqualify one. Why? Because the Bank of America card is just a secure card, a student card, or a balance transfer card. Balance transfer card meaning when you're transferring a balance from one card to another so that you can benefit from the 0% APR on the balance transfer card. That's why you would use that. But this card has no special earnings on it. So we're gonna be talking about two cards, the Cash Awards card and the Travel Awards card, trying to figure out which one is best for you. We're gonna do a little bit of math or a lot of math to try to figure this out. First, we're gonna start with establishing our variables. I'm gonna be writing on the screen here. Okay, so our variables are going to be... So let's talk about the Cash Awards card versus the Travel Rewards card. The Travel Rewards card is gonna be earning 1.5X on all spend. We're gonna be talking about the spend for the majority of this video because that's what it's gonna come down to in terms of which card you're gonna get. These aren't two cards you're gonna just get and forget about. These are two cards that are gonna be with you forever. At the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you which one I have or which ones I have. See, you don't know. All right, so you gotta wait till the end of the video. Okay, so the Travel Rewards card is a 1.5X card, which means it's getting 1.5 points for every dollar spent, while the Cash Rewards card is a 3X card, a 2X card, and a 1X card. 3X on the category of your choosing, whether that be gas, online shopping, dining, travel, drug stores, or home improvement, and then 2X on grocery stores and wholesale clubs. But the thing about those 3X and 2X categories is that they're maxed out at $2,500 worth of spend per quarter, okay? So that means a maximum of 10,000 per year. This number is gonna be really important when we get into the math and doing the math for this. So remember, $10,000 worth of spend per year for the cash rewards card is the max that you can get bonus points for. So we got a 3X or a 2X car maxed out by $10,000 worth of spend in a single year versus a 1.5X catch all car. We're gonna have to crunch the numbers to see which one is right for you. So let's get into this math. So let's use some variables here. So X is gonna equal money spent here. 3X equals blank. So we know that the maximum amount of spend that you can do to get those bonus points and the maximum amount, allowed amount of points is gonna be 3X, three times the number, three times 10,000, $10,000. That's gonna be 30,000 points. Compare this to 1.5X equals 30,000 points and X, being the amount of money spent is gonna be equal to 20,000 dollars, okay? So if you just spent on the bonus points categories and you max that out for a whole year, compared to the travel rewards card, the cash rewards card comes out on top. Now, obviously, this is the best case scenario for the cash rewards card, but the realistic scenario is that you spent either less or more than just the bonus categories. So we have to incorporate that, but we're given the best case scenario, so we're gonna keep the same math for the 3X. Okay, so as far as the amount of money that needs to be spent on the cash rewards card, we have to add 30,000 points to it. We have to add 30,000 points to it because we're incorporating what was already earned from the $10,000 worth of spend. So our equation is gonna look something like this. One, X plus 30,000 equals P, where P is equal to points earned, and X is equal to money spent minus 10 K minus 10K. 
So for the purposes of this equation, we're just gonna use the amount of money that the average US household spends in a single year. And that is $60,000. The average US household spends $60,000 in a single year. And let's say we're putting all the money onto the cash rewards card. So that equation will look something like this. 1X, uh, we're gonna insert 60,000 minus 10 because we're incorporating what was earned from the 10,000, but that's the whole spend. So 50,000 plus 30,000 equals 80,000. Okay, 80,000. Now, what about the travel rewards card? This equation, always simple. 1.5x equals p. p points earned. x for this equation is going to be money spent. Okay, so then we're spending 60,000 in a year because we're the average US household. And this is points, remember? Points. Okay. So we see that the travel rewards card comes out on top in terms of average US household spend, even if we give the cash rewards card the upper hand with maxing out the category spend for the entire year, maxing out that $2,500 per quarter every year on a bonus category, and we gave it the highest bonus category. So the travel rewards card wins, but let's say we don't spend 60K in a year. Let's say we're a little bit more modest and we spend 40K in a year using 40k for a reason so you're gonna have to bear with me on this one okay so same equation since we're spending 40k we're being modest we're spending 40k in a year remember we subtract, we subtract 10 from the 40k because we already incorporated the ten thousand dollars worth of spend with the bonus category so we'll put thirty thousand plus thirty thousand equals sixty thousand now we're gonna multiply $40,000 with the spend times 1.5. And I know off the top of my head, but if you can look at it, you can kind of tell it's 60K. So we've established that 40,000 is the break even point for when the travel rewards card starts to make more sense. Anything above $40,000 worth of spend is gonna be better for you. But anything less than $40,000 worth of spend and and you max out the bonus categories, we're giving that to them. The math would be way too complicated if we didn't give it to you. If you max out the bonus categories and you spend less than 40,000 in a year, the cash rewards card is better for you. Any type of spend above 40,000 is gonna be better for the travel rewards card. Now, which card do I have? It's a trick question. The Bank of America cash rewards card was my first ever credit card. So since I've gotten smart about credit cards, I did something pretty cool with my Bank of America Cash Awards card. I did not cancel it. No, I product changed it to the Travel Rewards card. Okay, so I product changed the Cash Awards card to the Travel Rewards card because I have a lot of credit cards. I do not put all of my spend on this card. I have much better credit cards than this. Just on my desk right now, I have my Sapphire Reserve card right here. Like, I have much better credit cards than this. So the reason why I probably changed from the Cash Awards card to this card, and it didn't cost me anything, it didn't cost a hard pull, it didn't change any of my credit limits, because I only spend money on this card twice a year, okay? And that's to keep the account alive. That's to keep that credit history alive. All right, that's why I have an elevated credit score because I've kept cards alive and I haven't unnecessarily canceled cards. So my suggestion for you would be to plug your numbers into the equation, or you can go to the Bank of America site and use the sliders to determine how much money you're gonna be spending per year, how much points you're gonna be earning. I hope this video helps you determine which card is better for you. I hope we got rid of some of the clutter 
from Bank of America, and we narrowed it down to two cards, the Cash mm. Awards card, the Travel Awards card, Travel Awards card, better for any type of spend above $40,000 a year, Cash Awards card, better for any type of spend below $40,000 per year, as long as you're maxing out that 3X category, not the 2X, just the 3X. Obviously, the Travel Awards card would win much sooner if we incorporated the 2X category, the grocery category. I'm Noble Credit. Consider subscribing. I'm almost at 400 subscribers. It would be great if I can get there off this video. This is what I do. I talk about credit cards. I unbox credit cards. I review credit cards. I know credit cards. All right. Check the channel. If you don't know, now you know. It's Noble. Bah. Don't care what nobody say. Ain't about to let nobody hang. Word is we got a whole lot of gang. 12 months for a whole product change. Turn the cards with no time to play. Remember all my folks run away. Oh, you wanna make jokes? Not a day. Oh, you wanna be bros? Not a day. I didn't see my own man turn to hate. I didn't see my own man turn to fake. I got a lot of credit cards now because I made bands off of Chase. No, I got a lot of bands in the safe. Gotta understand credit chase. School used to be 759. Now only stands in the eight. I was posting for a link up in 2019. Some people vouching for me was a pipe dream. Feel like I gotta say all the right things. Credit card turners walk a tight string. I see the vision clear. No vibe.